term of the sequence that is given as 72, 70, 68, 66 up to n terms is 40. So the question asked is we have to actually find out which term of this sequence is equal to 40 or which well, what is the value of n for which the nth term is 40. So we have to find out the value of n in which the nth, uh, the nth term is given as 40. So now if, uh, for this uh, as we have seen the uh, formula for finding out the nth term of an AP which is equal to a n is equal to a plus n minus 1 d. So for this as, as we have seen that nth term is given as 40. The a is, a is denoted by the first term which is taken as 72 and if you can see the difference is difference if you can find out we have to uh, uh, take any two consecutive terms and find out the difference between those consecutive terms. Let's take uh, let's take the uh, first two uh, first two terms. If you can see the diff common difference between them is 70 minus 72 that is equal to minus 2. Minus 2. So difference is uh, taken as minus 2. So now we have to find out the value of n as we have uh, as we know the value of uh, a n uh, as we know the value of a also and the common difference. So now we can find out the value of n by keeping all these these three values in this uh, in this uh, formula for finding out the nth term of an AP. So uh, if you can keep the, uh, keep the value, so it will become 40 is equal to 72 plus n minus 1 and the common difference is minus 2. So now if we can solve this, uh, we, we will get 40 minus 72. If we can move the 72 on uh, to this part, this side of the equation, so it will become 40 minus 72 that is equal to minus 2 into n minus 1. So now we can see the 40 minus 72 is equal to minus 2 into n minus 1. So now if we can solve it 40 minus 72 is equal to minus 32 which is equal to minus 2 into n minus 1. As there is negative side, sign on both sides of the equation so we can cancel this negative sign and it will become positive. So now if we can solve it we can take it as 32 divided by 2 which is equal to n minus 1. So after solving you will get 16 is equal to n minus 1 and n is equal to 17. So it means uh, the 17th term of this AP 17th term of this AP is equal to 40 which we actually have to find out. So as we have seen the uh, uh, as we have seen how to use the formula for finding out the nth term of an AP. So we can also find uh, we, uh, instead of fi uh, finding the nth term we have actually find out the uh, uh, value of n of this AP. It will come it has, as 17 which is actually the uh, 17th term of an AP which is equal to 40. Now let's take one more example. So it will become more clear. Now if example is if P, Q and rth term of an APR A comma B comma C respectively it so it is given in the question if P Q and R term of any AP are A B C. So now we have to show that then show that A Q minus R plus B R minus P plus C P minus Q is equal to 0. So as we see in the question, question that is asked is 
it is given that p q r rth term of an ap are a b and c respectively it means the p uh, term of an ap is a uh, q term of an ap q term of an ap it is given as b and rth term of an ap it is given as c so we have to show that a multiplied by q minus r plus b multiplied by r minus p plus c multiplied by p minus q is equal to 0. So how to solve it? Let's see. As we have seen, the general, uh, the nth term of an ap is a plus n minus 1 d. So it is given the p term. So it means p term will become a plus p minus 1 d. So instead of n, we have taken as p. So, uh, it will become a plus b minus 1d, which is equal to, which is equal to a. So, so in, in this way, if we can write out the q term of an ap, it will be become a plus q minus 1d, which is equal to b. And, rth term of an ap, it is given as a plus r minus 1 d which is equal to c. Now, for, now we have to prove that a into q minus r plus b into r minus p plus c into p minus q is equal to 0. So, for proving it, let's take LHS part of this. So, LHS part of this is a into q minus r plus b into r minus p plus c into p minus q. This is the LHS part of this uh, equation. So, we can keep the value of a, b, c as we have uh, find out the p term, q term and r term of the ap. So, by putting the value of a, b, c, what we will get is value of a is a plus p minus 1 d. So, it will become a plus p minus 1 d into q minus r plus now next part is b into r minus p. So, we have to keep the value of b. So, in place of b, we can keep as a plus q minus 1 d into into r minus p plus next part is c into p minus q. So, instead of c, we can keep as a plus r minus 1 d into p minus q. So, now if we can solve it, what we will get is, we actually have to multiply the both, uh, the both terms of this, uh, this part to the both terms of this part. So, if we can multiply the first, uh, first we multiply a with q, and then a with r. So then, then the next part we multiply p minus 1 into d with q and p minus 1 into d with r. So, first we multiply a with q. What we will get is a into q. Then a with r. So, we will get a minus a into r. As there is a positive sign here, positive sign here and the negative sign, uh, negative sign, sign with the r. So, it will become minus a into r. Plus, now we multiply p minus 1 into d with q first and then p minus 1 into d with r. So, p minus 1 into d into q minus p minus 1 into d into r. Now, so, we, uh, we have multiplied both, this, uh, both the terms of this uh, a which is a plus p minus 1 d with q minus r. Now, in next part, we multiply a plus q minus 1 d with r minus p. So, we have to multiply both these terms of a plus q minus 1 d with r minus p. So, first we will multiply a with r and then a with p. So, what we will get is a into r minus a into p plus now we multiply q minus 1 d with r and p. So, what we will get is q minus 1 d into r minus q minus 1 d 
इंटू पी नाउ वी मूव ऑन टू द थर्ड पार्ट ऑफ दिस इक्वेशन विच इज ए इंटू पी माइनस ए इंटू क्यू डेट इज मल्टीप्लाइंग दिस टू पार्ट विथ पी माइनस क्यू सो फर्स्ट वी हैव मल्टीप्लाइड ए विथ पी एंड देन ए विथ क्यू सो वॉट विल गेट इज ए इंटू पी माइनस ए इंटू क्यू प्लस नाउ वी मल्टीप्लाई आर माइनस वन इंटू डी विथ पी एंड क्यू सो वॉट विल गेट इज आर माइनस वन डी पी माइनस आर माइनस वन डी इंटू क्यू सो नाउ इफ यू कैन इफ यू ओपन दिस इक्वेशन और वी इफ यू कैन सॉल्व दिस इक्वेशन वॉट विल गेट इज ए इंटू क्यू माइनस ए इंटू आर प्लस पी इंटू डी इंटू क्यू माइनस डी इंटू क्यू प्लस माइनस पी इंटू डी इंटू आर प्लस पी इंटू डी इंटू आर सो आई लाइक टू इंफोसाइज ऑन दिस दिस पार्ट How will get this minus p d uh, p d r and minus uh, minus d into r? So uh, as we have seen that this is there is a negative sign. So if we multiply the p with d r, what we will get is minus p into d d into r. But there is negative sign in front of one also. So negative negative will become positive. So it will become plus d into r. so in this way if we can, if we uh, solve the further part of this what we'll get is a into r minus a into p plus q into d into r minus q into d into p minus d into r plus d into p then plus a into p minus a into q Plus R into D into P minus R into D into Q minus D P plus D Q. Now, if you can solve this, uh, if you can see this equation, there are some common parts which is a, but uh, common part in this equation like A Q is here also and A Q uh, A Q is there in that part, Q is there in this part also. But the sign of this A Q are are different. so if you can see in this the sign of this aq is positive so we can cancel this positive sign of this aq with the negative sign of this aq in the same way if we move on there is a negative part of ar which we can cancel it with the neg uh, positive part of ar so in this way we can cancel all the terms of this ap all the terms of an ap because uh, Each term will have two parts, which in which one part is the negative one and the other part is the positive one. So if we can cancel all this part, what we'll get in the end is we'll get the uh, this equation is equal to become zero, which is equal to the RHS part of this of the proof that we have to show. So in this way we have solved this equation by using the formula for finding out the nth term of an AP.